Every day the woman dangles ice cubes from the beams of her house, letting the ice drip down on her navel. And when they got up, they had to drink a bowl of tenfold tonic soup. Because in ancient times, this method allowed women to give birth to boys. But Lisa gave birth to four daughters in quick succession by using this method. Roy was so angry that he found a geisha in a flower house. She gave birth to a baby boy. Seeing that there was someone to take over the majestic family business, Lloyd taught him to play and paint every day, afraid that he would grow up unable to use his abilities. But one day all that was shattered. For Lisa, at the age of 45, she was lucky enough to give birth to a baby boy. Jack was transformed overnight. He became a cursed bastard. Not only did did he have to do the hardest work every day. He was often beaten by his father. Jack thought it was all the fault of the male child, so he went to the boy's room when no one was there, trying to smother him to death. However, Lisa could only see him. Lloyd thought he must have been instructed by his mother to do what he did. In a fit of rage, he killed his mother's family and sent Jack to the frontier, leaving him to fend for himself. But to his surprise, Jack didn't die after he was sent to the border. But he also developed his martial arts skills. Thinking of his painful childhood, he returned home to seek revenge. He shot all of Roy's family to death. He found out that his sister-in-law had gone to the temple yesterday to burn incense. In order to eliminate the root of the problem, he paid ten tails of silver for a cartload of grain, hired Mark the pig killer to go to the temple. Late at night, in the quiet of the night, Mark grabbed his knife and set out to kill the pig. Just as he opened the door of his house quietly, he finds that Roy's daughter-in-law is pregnant. He was so frightened that he ran away and returned the ten tails of silver to Jack. Jack saw that he couldn't do his job and didn't want him to live. He set fire to his house. He wanted to kill his whole family. He woke up and they were all dead. He was the only one who survived. He came out of the fire. He looked at his dead family and his heart went out to them. He grabbed a knife and prepared to tear Jack apart. But Jack was no ordinary man. A mere fan knocked him to the ground with ease. Just as the soldiers were about to dump his body in the wilderness at night. Adam, a good man from the Liang Shan, arrived just in time, and with three blows, he knocked the soldiers to the ground. He saved him and took him to the mountain.